Hello Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. Back again. Don't trip over that pile of stuff down uh -huh. this kitty. <laughs> Hadn't done a video for a while. Um, man, just been busy, busy. I was actually down. Uh, you can see this brace thing. Uh, had br or did a bunch of uh, railroad spike knives. Forged a bunch of railroad spike knives. And ended up getting that dang brusitis back in my elbow. And Mama Carla got me this. It's a... Uh, infused copper band that helps out tremendously and then on top of that the last three weeks, what was it down? About almost three weeks and I ended up getting gout in both my feet <laughs> so I was hobbling around, still got the garden, we got it probably I don't know what, 70% yeah. planted, still got some more stuff to plant I'll try to do a thing from there some sometime in the near future but I was going to go over so I've been back now the elbows Somewhat, actually, it's probably about 90% better. Doing some light stuff right now. I'm not doing the the railroad spikes. Um, I actually have a buddy. I got to get get one for him. Then I got a couple of orders for him, so I do have to get back on those. Um, but I was just gonna show real quick the process of making the um, and I, what did I do with it. The trap. The uh, yeah, the trap spring knives. I'll show you. Uh, Anyway, you start off, so you start off, this is a muskrat trap, I prefer the bigger ones. Um, muskrat trap, the, you know, you got the spring here. And uh, what I do is pop the, go like this, pop the jaws off, um, heat it up, pound it out straight. Where a muskrat one, you know, I'd only get one knife out of that if you get the bigger doubles, you know, like a coyote trap or a uh, wolf trap or something bigger. You can get, you know, a couple of pretty good sized knives out of it. So anyway, so I pop this spring off, heat it up, pound it out, and, you know, get it flat. So then you've got it, you know, so basically you got it laying flat like that after you pound it out. Put it back in the center. So what you have in your hand there is two yeah, ends? Yeah, this is two that I've already done. I okay. thought I had everything laid out here, but I didn't. They're in the shop there. But, um... So, so you pound them out, and they're flat like that. So then put them back in, I heat up the center. Then I got this fancy little cutter tool. So then I lay them out, you know, like this. Take that when it's, you know, red hot, obviously. Pound it out. Pound them, actually, usually I do it at an angle. It gives me a little bit of a point of the knife. And then uh, I'll go in and, you know, to help round off because it'll be a little square I'll use a grinder a little bit to get it a little bit shaped you know you can see that so then I'll come back pound them out um, you know and just start working them with the forge you know if I had more a better camera and longer videos I'd show the whole process so then uh, once it gets to that point and as soon as kid I told you I was going to come out here and get all the stuff together but so anyway I don't have any finished products <laughs> right here I'm still working on them <laughs> But uh, I thought we'd just do a check-in. So back to forging. So you can actually check them out. I'll have later today, I'll have, uh, let me see what I got in here. Later today, I'll have some on the um, IdahoHillbilly.com. Still trying to get that. You know, keeping the orders going. And, oh, here's the trap spring. Keeping the orders going and getting stuff off, you know, because we've got the, the, e, the Idaho Hillbilly at eBay. And then oh, we've got. Is that uh, one you just held up as a jaw? Yeah, this, that's what I was just going to say, but okay. I was going to go tell where my stuff was. Too. Okay. Did you want to do this? <laughs> she gave me the look. So, so for the Idaho Hillbilly on eBay or IdahoHillbilly.com, or also our Etsy, too. So anyway, so now back. So this here is straightened out. So I try to, you know, because I'm a recycle, reclaim guy, so I try to make as much as possible... Out of, like I said, I prefer this is a muskrat trap. I actually prefer bigger traps, bigger jaws and everything. But after I knock the the jaws off here, take the spring off, <coughs> excuse me, and then uh, you know make the knife out of this. I also heat them up, straighten them out, and make uh, trap jaw knives. You know, all of them kind of a mountain man trapper style knives. You know, because back then you used whatever. You had so they'd break a break a trap so they'd make a knife out of it. So you can see the little curl, so I gotta pound that out and everything there. So I'm working on that one. You, like I said, you'll be able to check about in a few hours on uh there's one I'm working on right there. See so there's as we get going along there. Let's see man. As we get pounded along. 
I also got this awesome, I found this in that 100 year old barn, this old spike, so I'm pounding it out and it'll be a cool old round head spike or a large nail knife. What else is going to go over? Oh, and then, uh, you know, everything in life changes and stuff, and, um, anybody that knows us or knows our story or anything like that knows that we traveled around in a motorhome and raised our kids on the road, uh, doing antique shows and flea markets and swap meets and stuff, and, um, and then after that we opened a trading post or a store, and, man, me and Miss Kitty got pretty burned out on it, but now after, you know, all our, there's the other knife right there on the ground. But after all the, that's the one that's pounded out, oh, it's yeah. ready to get cleaned up. But anyway, so after all the years, you know, and took some years off and stuff like that. And, you know, when you're a junker, you're always accumulating stuff anyway. And then our, you know, our online site and our, you know, we got three or four online uh, e-commerce stores and places we sell. You end up getting a mass quantity of stuff that didn't sell and stuff that, you know, other things that are too big to ship and, you know, just stuff I collect. We collect a lot of junk, obviously. And, uh, um, so anyway, we are trying to figure out other things. You know, we talked about opening up another store and stuff like that, but now we've decided to hit the road part-time. Me and Miss Kitty, we won't have no kids or nothing like that, so... We'll be out doing the shows, so watch around the northwest. We'll definitely be Idaho up. We're heading uh, northern Idaho, hopefully pretty soon, for a couple of shows. Over to Oregon for a couple of shows, and we're hoping to Montana and maybe Washington. And just, we're trying to say uh, every other weekend, but right now we're looking at the next three weeks we'll be doing shows. We're going to be doing our schedule and stuff for later today and getting that all organized and figured out. And, I'll probably put that on one of our websites. So you can check that out. And then we've got on our other, uh, we got a Facebook page, Hillbilly Hagglers, that you can check out too. And that's where it'll tell where the shows are. And it's it's pretty much just a page completely on um, junking and antiquing and, you know, flea markets and swap meets and all that kind of stuff. Anything you want to say, Miss Kitty? Oh. Yes. Haha, <laughs> and doing it cheap. Thanks, Bob. Look, man, I've left the sleeves on because it's still only 72 degrees here. The sleeves might go later. Maybe not. <laughs> so check out Bob doing it cheap, my buddy Bob. Haven't been talking to him too much lately. Here and there, he's been busy. Been doing a bunch of videos and stuff. I gotta get on. You know, don't watch him here because the internet, I gotta go to Katie. He's got one that looks like it should be really funny about roadkill. I think old Bob's starting down. I don't know if he's a possum or a squirrel or what he ate. But. So anyway, check out old Bob doing a Jeep. And uh, what else? Is that it? Just it. So I hope you all are doing well and uh, take care out there. hope your summer starting off great. You have a wonderful day.